so uh, first of all uh, before starting with the session okay first of all let me introduce myself i am amit prabhu co founder of talent battle so talent battle is a platform uh, which provides a one stop solution for students to prepare for placements uh, right from aptitude uh technical programming coding okay interview preparation personal and technical resume preparation uh online mock test so lot of services we provide for students who want to prepare for on campus and off campus placements so this is a little bit about us so uh, more than uh, students from more than 3000 plus colleges use our uh, products and services uh we have got more than 2 lakh 30000 youtube subscribers where we uh, conduct a lot of live sessions uh, to update you about various off campus opportunities there are even some uh, preparation videos which we upload on youtube so once your placement season starts you will understand how frequently we are active on youtube so make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it will help you a lot uh, to remain updated about various opportunities so uh, more than 2 lakh 40000 students have registered on our platform they use a lot of our uh, mock test and preparation material to prepare for placements and uh, till now we have got more than 12000 plus successful placements so this is the actual number not a exaggerated number like other platforms okay we have also uh, partnered with tcs ion okay uh, partnered with bentley systems and ncs technologies which is singapore boys company uh, so these companies we have tied for different reasons so we recently conducted a off campus drive uh, for 2019 2020 2021 batch students uh for ncs technologies soon we'll be conducting the off uh, campus drive for 2022 batch as well so next year maybe when you enter your final year and in the second semester we might even conduct it for 2023 batches so uh this uh, particular thing goes on increasing so just to give you a background those who are watching or those who are currently new to talent battle so now we are going to start okay so before starting uh, there are two to three aspects which we are going to cover i have gone through a lot of questions doubts which students ask us on instagram uh, we had even circulated one form to training and placement officers and uh, had told them about this particular webinar so even some training placement officers had circulated a google form wherein we had received multiple questions from students so uh, there are some there is one category of students who do not know actually anything about placements like they don't know what are the rounds conducted there are some students who know what are the various rounds conducted how the process goes on but they are not aware about how to prepare when to start the preparation or what exactly they need to prepare to make sure they enter into a good company okay so we are going to check out both the aspects then there are some frequently asked questions about aggregate percentage marks uh, we have a year gap uh, companies do not visit my particular college so what do i do in that particular case so we are going to answer all those questions so just to give you a brief idea about what are the various rounds and what are the what is the process conducted by various companies while conducting on and off campus placements okay so the most common round which every company conducts like 99% of the companies conduct this particular round that is the general aptitude test okay so if you are a 2023 batch student uh, i think this year infitq did not conduct aptitude but last year they had conducted aptitude okay so aptitude test consists of quantitative aptitude uh, which mostly consists of mathematical problems logical reasoning and verbal ability so if you go through some of the videos on our channel you understand what exactly is quantitative aptitude logical reasoning or verbal ability so it is nothing but if you had appeared for various exams like science olympiad maths olympiad mathics and all those abacus exams in your school days you might have got a little bit idea about what is this general aptitude okay so the level would be more definitely not the school level but uh, definitely there are some problems which you might be familiar like simple interest compound interest speed distance time reading comprehension or uh, family tree uh, series number series letter series so these are some of the topics i just want to give you an idea about what is general aptitude okay and many companies will start coming uh, with their on campus opportunities from june and july so most important thing is you have to be prepared uh well before june or at least till the june end okay because from july first week the companies will start approaching so at that time you uh, should be ready with whatever uh, required skills are required for facing campus placements okay so that i'm going to cover but before that just covering what are the various rounds in, for campus placements some companies conduct essay writing and paragraph writing okay so wipro conducts essay writing uh, and there are various other companies which conduct the same round group discussion which was a very uh, favorite round for most of the companies uh, pre covid because companies used to visit campuses to conduct group discussion but nowadays companies are not able to conduct that online 
there might be a few companies who conduct online group discussion but that round group discussion round uh, is not uh, frequently conducted now it is rarely conducted by some of the companies okay next most common round again programming and coding round previously uh, general aptitude test was conducted by majority of the companies and coding rounds were conducted by a few companies maybe 5 to 6 years back but now programming and coding round is conducted by each and every company which uh, visits campus or on campus so whether it is tcs wipro infosys cognizant accenture any of these companies if you take up they are going to conduct a programming or coding round okay so uh, programming and coding at that time you have to actually it is hands on programming they will give you a problem statement and you have to code it in any of uh, any one of the four languages that is c c++ java or python so yes there is a exception infidq did not allow students to code in uh, c or uh, c++ they allowed only java and python but most of the other companies are going to allow any of these four languages okay so don't worry about that particular thing next is technical mcq test uh, so uh, in this particular test you will face mcq questions which are uh, based on concepts of programming so whether it is a pseudo code or whether uh, well, they will give you a code and tell you uh, ask you what would be the output from the given options or they will give you a error in the code and tell you to spot the error okay so uh, such type of mcq technical based mcq tests are also conducted by various companies next technical and personal interview so technical interview will be uh, uh, used to check your basic concepts fundamental concepts of your technical knowledge so that can be either through your resume or they might ask some random questions as well personal interview would be more to check about what kind of a person you are and whether you are uh, morally and uh, suitable for the company whether you are a team player so there are a lot of skills which are checked in personal interview so i have not gone into detail about each of these rounds because the main motive uh, of today's session is to tell you what exactly you need to prepare how exactly you need to prepare in the next 3 months so that is my main focus so these are various rounds which are conducted by most of the companies nowadays companies are even going for some off bit rounds like companies like cap gemini uh, conduct game based aptitude round okay so this is not mentioned in the given list so companies are trying to formulate new types of uh, rounds uh, wherein they can check the student skill so uh, since it is completely online nowadays most of the hiring happens virtually so they can uh, so companies have got that freedom to conduct different types of rounds which are uh, supported by technology so the game based aptitude round is one such round which is conducted by capgemini so later on if you go on our youtube channel uh, you can just search for capgemini game based round and you will understand what exactly they conduct so it's uh, just uh, a part of you can say a curiosity you can check it out okay <clears throat> okay now uh, guys most important thing okay so before i come to this i'll just not switch to that particular screen so first of all let me uh, just tell you whichever branch or stream you might be okay so i have conducted a lot of sessions before this uh, to make sure the third year students second year students are aware about campus placement preparation and the first thing i tell all the students is that you should have a one particular target okay so what should be that target for you in the next 6 months or uh, in the next 8 months okay so most of the student what happens those who are from non csit students like mechanical civil electrical those try to get into core companies and the number of opportunities of core companies are nowadays less i'm not saying that it is bad to target core company because uh, after all you have chosen mechanical electrical or civil to get into a core company and now uh, the situation is like the number of opportunities in it companies is more than core okay and second students second type of students those who are from it and computer science background okay but they are just targeting the product based company so every uh, it is become a new fad okay, or it is become a new trend that i just want to prepare for product based companies i want to uh, get packages of 10 lpa 15 lpa 18 lpa i am not saying it is bad it is definitely a very good thing to target uh, to aim high to dream high but one more important thing which i would like to tell you considering the competition in our country number of job openings and the overall scenario you should be more practical and make sure you create that safety net so what is that safety net safety net is nothing but first get placed in a uh, mass recruiting company so mass recruiting companies are companies like tcs wipro capgemini accenture cognizant those who hire students in thousands okay so tcs hires around 50 60000 freshers every year similarly other companies infosys and all these companies hire in bulk so why am i saying that first target this particular companies the reason is that 
it would be uh, you will be creating a safety net for yourself so let us consider a mechanical engineering student okay let us consider two mechanical engineering student one uh, tries for an it job one tries only for a core job okay so the first student who tries for an it job prepares well for tcs wipro or any of the mass recruiting companies get placed maybe with a package of 4 or 7 lpa okay and later on after getting that particular job you can say uh, opportunity later on he tries to get job in core so now what happens is basically if that particular student fails to get a core job at least after completion of his graduation he has got a it job in his pocket at least he can join that particular company and start his career but consider the second student if he just tries only for core companies and if the opportunities are less and at the end if he is not getting placed in the core company then at that time he does not even have a it job in his hand so whatever your branch or stream might be my first recommendation for all of you out there would be to target this mass recruiting companies even for it csc students you can target this mass recruiting companies first once you get placed get one offer in hand and later on you can start preparing for product based companies because product based companies preparation is not going to happen in one day right it is going to take four months six months of preparation first if you uh, try to gain skills for this mass recruiting companies if you crack those then you will become eligible to prepare for product based company okay so what am i basically trying to say is uh, just uh, try to get that first job getting that first job will be uh, like it will uh, you'll get that confidence okay you will become tension free for the next uh, one year complete year suppose you get placed in july august or september you will get tension free for the next 8 to 10 months and at that time you can try out other opportunities of getting placed in product based companies maybe giving competitive exam or maybe uh, going for a core company so you know that at the back of the mind that if you fail in any of those uh, highly aimed um, targets at least you have got a job in your hand okay and it is not that this mass recruiting companies just give 3 to 4 lpa their base package is 3 to 4 lpa but all of these companies like tcs accenture uh, wipro uh, cognizant capgemini these also offer high package of 7 to 8 lpa as well okay so if you are perform uh, very good in their uh, basic package round definitely they will give you opportunity for higher package as well okay so if now one more important thing okay the most important thing uh, students ask their seniors about how they got placed and there are some seniors who would be uh, telling you that i just studied for tcs for one week and i got placed so don't believe that okay because nothing comes easy okay so it is not going to happen that if you just study for 7 days or 10 days and you are going to get placed in tcs or wipro so uh, seniors just tell you that but at the back they know how many how much efforts they have taken for the past 3 years 2 years or 1 year to make sure that they are good in aptitude and technical and communication or interview skills okay so if you want to get a job in multinational companies definitely there will be uh, you can say a process and if you follow that process definitely you can get that job so 100% dedication and hard work with proper direction is necessary so don't believe on seniors who just try to tell you that uh, study for 10 days 15 days you will get this no it is not like an engineering exam you study at the last moment and clear your papers okay so that is not going to happen okay now let's come to the most important part that what is the what are the main aspects of your placement preparation so every time i tell this to students there are two aspects okay one is general preparation and second is company specific preparation okay why i have divided these into two because the reason is every company has got different pattern different way of asking questions or uh, different paper uh, pattern as as i said previously okay so you cannot directly jump on one particular company's preparation if you start jumping directly solving tcs uh, specific problems or tcs digital specific problems it becomes difficult for you to understand and you might lose your motivation so the correct approach is first you need to clear with your foundation training or you can say the foundation concepts of aptitude and technical once you are clear with those foundations then you need to start preparing for company specific preparation whether it is tcs wipro or any other company infosys or any other company for that matter okay so now what i am going to do i am going to tell you what are the important aspects which come under both of these sections so one is general preparation so what is the most important thing in general preparation that is general aptitude preparation okay so general aptitude is nothing but as i told you previously quant reasoning and verbal ability 
so now most important thing just learning concepts is not going to be either, okay okay or sufficient okay once you learn the concept of a particular topic you need to solve a lot of mock test why am i saying that i don't know how many of you have already started with your placement preparation but you might have faced one particular issue that the moment you see a problem if you are not able to solve and if you look at the solution you'll understand that you have understood that problem okay and the moment you see another new problem you are again not able to solve so you think that just looking at the solution you are able to solve but a new question comes in you are not able to solve so this is the main problem faced by most of the students second is you are able to solve the question but you are not able to solve the question in given stipulated amount of time okay because time is the key in solving aptitude test the reason is most of the companies have got maybe 30 questions 40 minutes or 40 questions 60 minutes now most important thing companies like tcs have even started with question based timer okay so last year what happened for 2022 batch tcs nqt was conducted okay for ninja drive they, uh, they conducted the exam and every question had a timer so one question may be of uh, easy level of difficulty 40 seconds or 1 minute medium level may be 90 90 seconds or maybe a difficult question for 120 seconds or 2 minutes so moment that timer gets over your screen switches to the next question so you can imagine if you are not able to solve the question in maybe 1 one, one and a half or 2 minutes then it becomes very very difficult even if you know the concept so however whatever might be your plan for preparing for placements when you start your general aptitude preparation make sure that after learning concepts you solve a mock lot of mock test so mock test will basically help you to understand uh, whether you are able to solve the question in given time limit or not and secondly you will also it will help to help to give you an uh, practice of solving the questions online because you have to look at the screen read the problem maybe do some rough calculation on the paper again look at the screen and click on the correct option so that habit uh, you have to create to make sure that you solve the online test more efficiently okay so that is about general aptitude preparation which comes under general preparation not under company specific okay so most important thing next important thing is programming language now whichever branch or stream you might be from whether you are from computer science it electronics telecommunication electrical civil you have to know at least two programming languages if you are targeting for an it company okay and as i said previously make sure you keep your first target to get placed in this mass recruiting companies uh, to make sure that at least you get that first job in your hand so make sure you know at least two programming languages so one which we recommend to all students is c programming which is a procedure oriented language and then one object oriented language can be any one of the languages between c++ java or python so if you are a computer science students maybe you can learn c and java if you are a mechanical maybe you can go for c and python or c and c++ okay so any two languages you are comfortable with but make sure you go for one language that is c language because the reason i am saying why c language is important because the mcq questions of most of the companies like tcs wipro those are based on uh, c programming or pseudo codes so if you go for c programming then it will be easy for you to solve those particular mcq technical questions okay so c and any one of the languages now one more important thing again similar to aptitude just learning the concepts of programming is not enough you need to solve programming statements not the academic statements which you learn in your curriculum but company specific programming statements are necessary okay so company specific uh, programming statements will actually help you to understand whether you have understood that particular concept or not now again the same thing happens for learning programming also so you look at the problem statement you are not able to formulate the logic logic building you, uh, you are weak at logic building maybe you are not able to do that but if you look at the solution of that problem you understand okay this was the solution again a new coding statement comes in you are not able to solve that particular question so the reason why this happens basically is that the uh, trying attitude is less because what happens the student moment he reads the question if he is practicing coding or aptitude the moment he reads his question he does not stress on uh, trying to get the solution so maybe in just 15 20 or 30 seconds he tries to look at the solution so don't look at the solution immediately whenever you are trying to uh, practice aptitude or coding okay first maybe you look at the coding statement you do not understand try to uh, formulate a logic try to uh, make sure you understand at least half part of the problem okay 
then maybe you lo- you can just take a hint from the solution without looking the complete solution again you come back to the problem and try to solve the problem so this iteration should happen of trying and maybe it might happen that while practicing it is taking maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes for just one problem but if you don't give up on that particular problem you try until you get the solution then it will help you to build your logic building once that logic building ability comes in you then any time you see a new problem you will be able to solve that particular coding or aptitude problem so during practice or during learning concepts it's okay if you take time to solve a particular problem but make sure you don't immediately go and look at the solution because it will kill your ability of thinking okay next uh, i hope the points which i am mentioning till now are clear so one many mo- most important thing is aptitude preparation second most important thing is programming language two at least okay next very important thing which most of the companies are focusing nowadays data structures and database so data structures you can learn in any of these four languages one language is fine and the basic concepts of database management system so this is very important when ptq was asking for database management system so other companies will also ask this particular knowledge okay now once you are done with these three then uh, solving a lot of technical mcq test are also important because solving aptitude so similar to solving mock test of aptitude solving mcq based technical test and coding question based test is also very important okay now uh, next important two important things are personal and technical interview okay so personal interviews are the interviews where in 80 to 90% of the questions are you can say uh, pre decided or you can say that these are most frequently asked questions so all of you might be knowing there are some personal interview questions like introduce yourself what are your strengths okay what is your long term goal what is your short term goal uh, would you be okay with any location or would you be able to work in night shift so there are some set of personal interview questions which the interviewer ask to the that particular candidate not all questions some of that particular uh, questions and he is trying to gauge whether that candidate is fit for his company or not okay now what happens is whenever you enter a personal interview or whenever you are preparing for a personal interview most of the students do not prepare for the personal interview because they think these are not very difficult questions yes definitely they are not difficult questions so suppose if the interviewer ask you introduce yourself definitely you are going to say some of the things about yourself okay but the catch over here is if you plan your answers for at least the frequently asked questions then it will be easy for you to lead the interview so what do i mean by leading the interview basically suppose uh, i know that the personal interview is going to interviewer is going to ask me the question introduce yourself and i am already planned four important points which will create a positive impression about me and i am going to mention those four important points in my introduction so maybe one of the point is about one certification program second point is maybe about one internship which i have done third point may be about my project okay and fourth point may be about my academics okay so now what happens if you mention these four points then the next question which the interviewer will ask most probably will be based on one of these four points okay so now if he asks you about your project or internship it will be easy for you to answer the next question as well okay so this is called leading the interview that means you have answered the introduction question in such a way that you got the next question which you expected okay similarly if the interviewer asks you question on your internship your answer should be pre planned about what are the things you are going to talk about your internship so that the question after that will be according to your expectation okay so this is called leading the interview definitely it is not going it is not a one day task that you are going to plan all these things it takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of time but definitely once you start learning this particular skill the interviewer will not know that you are answering in such a way that he is able to ask questions which you want he is not going to know that you are making him ask those questions right so see most of the time what happens personal and technical interviews the interviewer is not going to come with a question bank right so he is not going to come with a question bank ask first five questions to the first candidate next five to the next candidate he is going to ask you questions based on your resume and secondly some frequently asked questions and last if he is not able to find any good thing in your resume if he is not go- able to grab any good point in your introduction or any other answers then he will start asking you random questions but if you are able to answer questions pre planned and if you have got good points in resume 
then 70 to 80 percent of your interview will happen on the questions which you were expecting okay and when 80 percent of the answers you give correctly or correctly i mean to say ex- good with good uh, satisfaction the interviewer gets satisfied then definitely the chances of cracking that particular interview are more okay so most important point is for personal interviews you need to plan all the frequently asked questions and for technical interview make sure you are good or you are able to answer questions based on your mini projects mega projects whatever things you mention in your resume okay now most important point last but not the least in general preparation that is the resume preparation okay so resume there are two things one is the content which is there in the resume and second is the format okay so both the things are very very important when it comes to resume preparation good content with poor formatting is not going to work good formatting but there is no good content to put in is not going to work so a good resume is a combination of both the things if you have got a good resume definitely the questions you will face in the technical and personal interview will be more about your expectation so whatever you expect they will ask you the questions okay so now guys this is nothing but your foundation or core preparation foundation preparation i would say wherein you are going to get good with concepts of aptitude concepts of programming data structure algorithms database some technical mcq test you are going to solve aptitude test coding test you are going to solve you are going to prepare the frequently asked personal and technical interview questions and your resume is going to be ready okay so preparing resume is not that traditional way where you take seniors resume just change the name that is the traditional way which is not at all acceptable it takes uh, at least maybe a month or 15 days maybe daily or maybe weekly once you start uh, working on your resume and it gets prepared over time so you need to plan your resume so once all of these things happen you get that particular confidence to prepare for any particular company okay so imagine guys for the next 3 months or next 2 months okay first 2 months let's talk about let's 2 months you prepare for aptitude programming dsa you prepare your resume you are ready with the frequently asked questions about personal and technical interview and yes it is possible in next 2 to 2 and a half months or i would say if you really go slow in the next 3 months okay so suppose if you uh, ded- completely dedicatedly complete the general preparation in uh, march april and may okay now companies will start you will start getting information from your training and placement officers that xyz company is visiting your college maybe capgemini is visiting tcs cognizant or any other company is going to visit your campus now what is your job now your job is to start the preparation for that particular company which is going to come first okay now imagine one student who is getting or who is becoming aware to prepare for placements in the month of june now he doesn't know whether to start preparing for aptitude whether to start preparing for the company which is being announced whether to start preparing for interview or whether to start preparing for coding so he is in a confused state completely confused state and this happens every year in the month of june july once tcs or cognizant or capgemini announces right we get a thousands of messages from students now what to do how to start preparation okay third year or this is the best time to start your preparation and this particular time of 3 months is going to be very very crucial because imagine guys a student who has not at all started he is just getting aware in the month of june and imagine if you are in a situation a student who has already completed the things which i have mentioned in this left column and now he is ready to prepare for any particular company right so now if the company gets announced now what you need to do next thing you need to do is first go through all the previous year questions of that particular company previous year aptitude questions of that company previous year coding questions technical mcq questions go through all the previous year questions maybe at least 3 years okay why am i saying 3 years not more than that because companies are tending to change their pattern every one two or three years so uh, so it if you go for very old pattern then it is not going to be very very helpful for you very old uh, question papers okay so previous year questions very important because 99% of the times the pattern remains same the way of asking maybe the pattern changes slightly but the way of asking questions the level of difficulty the topics which that particular company focuses on these all remain constant and if you go through previous year questions it will really help you to excel in that particular company's test okay now just solving the previous year's question is not enough you need to solve that particular company's mock test according to that particular company's pattern because every company has uh, got different pattern 
like uh, 30 minutes 40 questions 40 minutes 50 questions or 40 minutes 40 questions so you need to understand whether you are able to solve that particular company's xyz level of difficulty xyz topics in that particular time or not so what i might basically trying to say is you need to solve mock test to make sure you become confident for solving that particular company's paper okay next understanding the pattern and creating preparation strategy is very important why i mentioned this point because now let me give you an example suppose if your college announces that tcs is going to be the first drive okay then you need to prepare for quant reasoning and verbal ability and coding okay the reason tcs asks all of this right but imagine if your college is college announces that capgemini is going to be the first company then for capgemini according to their latest pattern they do not ask quant or reasoning their first section is uh, pseudo code and database yeah, sorry not database data structures okay next is english communication test game based aptitude round behavioral competency round and technical and personal interview so there are no questions from quant and logical reasoning now imagine if i know that capgemini is going to come then why i will focus my time on reasoning and quant i would rather focus on technical that is pseudo code uh, data structures english communication and game based right so if i know that particular company's pattern i'll start my preparation accordingly now i am assuming guys whenever i am saying that you need to start your company specific preparation i am assuming that you have already completed your general preparation you are good with concepts of aptitude and coding okay and now you are only trying to focus on that particular company i am assuming this students who directly start with company specific preparation it is very very difficult guys okay to understand that particular company's preparation next you need to understand the previous year technical and personal interview questions okay so uh, you will get an idea about what kind of questions these companies ask in their personal and technical interviews what exactly they expect the candidates to answer in their interviews now most important thing the best way to prepare for any technical or personal interview is to face at least one mock interview so before going for a actual interview face one mock interview personal and technical in that mock interview you will understand what are the mistakes you make what are the positive points which points create impression which points do not create impression so it will be really helpful for you if you do that okay and last but not the least you need to have a general information about the company you need to know what are the products and services that company offers where it is located in our country who is the ceo so these are some of the general questions which a hr might ask in their personal interview just to check how much you are interested to join that particular company so guys this is nothing but a brief thing about what you need to do in your placement preparation start with the left column maybe some of you are good in aptitude start programming if you are good in programming start aptitude complete your left column things which i have mentioned in the left column before june and then whichever company comes in you can start with your company specific preparation and just to give you a brief idea this is not hard and fast okay so 60 hours are enough to learn the concepts of aptitude this does not include practice okay let me again clear this does not include practice just to understand the concepts of aptitude it will take around 60 hours to know the concepts of programming to at least two languages it will take 50 hours okay 25 25 hours 25 hours for c programming concepts now some students ask 25 hours okay i'll become master in c programming in 25 hours no in 25 hours maybe you'll understand all the concepts of programming okay but you have to practice a lot of questions to make sure you master that particular language a uh, data structures and database it will take 40 hours personal interview uh, understanding just understanding the personal interview questions it will take 4 hours i am not saying planning the answers will take 4 hours planning the answers will take more okay even technical interview you will understand what are the things to be prepared in 4 hours okay and resume i have done 2 hours just for the final formatting okay not actually what are the uh, plannings which you do to what things to put in the resume what things you exclude from the resume not that particular time so this particular time if you dedicate at least 3 or 2 hours daily then it will take around 2 months for you 2 to 2 and a half months for you and in the next after 2 to 2 and a half months maybe after uh, 60 or 70 days then you can start practicing remaining 30 days or 35 days uh, before the announcement of your drive you need to practice three important things first is practice a lot of aptitude test 
topic wise aptitude test second is practice a lot of company specific coding questions okay and third is technical mcq test so mcq test means pseudo codes mcqs data structure mcqs concept based mcqs so if you practice these three things at the end of maybe 2 to 2 and a half months then you will be very much ready to start preparing for company for company uh, when you are you are preparing for any company specific like you are preparing for tcs wipro or infosys at least 20 hours you will take to understand the previous year questions okay so uh, so this is just a brief about how much time it takes it takes roughly around 2 to 3 months to prepare and uh, to become ready to prepare for a company company specific preparation throughout goes on in your final year because so whichever company comes in maybe some companies will come in july august september october november okay any time they come in so this preparation goes on till you get placed basically okay so uh, next there are few faqs i will cover quickly okay so if you have got backlogs pointer percentage is less what should i do just don't think about it right now because uh, many students have got less in 10th and 12th and they don't become eligible because most of the companies have 60% criteria in 10th 10th 12th and graduation but just me let me give you two examples last year capgemini and accenture were two companies which did not consider a 10th and 12th standard marks so they just considered your engineering or graduation marks okay so now guys what happens is if a student says that i have got 59 in 12th i am not eligible so i won't prepare for campus okay don't prepare for campus and later on when a company comes in and they say that we are not going to consider 12th marks then what you are going to do so think about it so right now whatever might be your 10th 12th or graduation percentage don't think about that just start preparation there would be some opportunities for everyone okay but if you are 60% in 10th 12th and graduation you would be open to most of the opportunities okay i am from non csit background should i learn programming definitely yes as i said secure your first job in mass recruiting companies and then later on you can try out jobs in your core sector i don't want to enter software company i want to go for core company job what should i do again i would say first prepare for uh, software companies or mass recruiting companies then try for a core job i want package greater than 5 to 6 lpa what should i do you need to practice a lot of uh, questions guys higher level uh, questions first see if you are zero in aptitude and coding just don't directly think about getting a higher package first think about making yourself capable with the basic concepts making yourself capable of solving the questions of 4 to 5 lpa 3 lpa companies once you are able to solve those questions confidently then solve higher level questions and slowly that journey goes on okay directly you cannot jump on a higher package company companies do not visit my college what should i do now this is a big question for most of the students even if none of the companies visit your college tcs is conducting national level drives every year in which they are allowing students from any college okay wipro conducts national level drive they are allowing students from any college now talking about other companies like accenture cognizant capgemini and this particular companies maybe you won't get opportunity for these companies in the first 6 months like maybe from june to november but in the next semester like in the second semester of your final year most of these companies conduct off campus drives and in the off campus drives students from all the colleges are eligible okay so college is not going to become a barrier if you don't have skills that is going to become a barrier for your placements okay now uh, before i hand over to ajinkya i would just like to share that uh, we are have going to we are starting with our complete placement preparation live master class new batch from tomorrow at 6 pm so most of you who are already in touch with us might be knowing this just i will give you a brief about what are the things which are included in this particular live master class okay uh, so first thing is it is a live and recorded course and most of the things are covered live just let me tell you what is covered live so aptitude preparation is entirely covered live so live aptitude preparation for quant reasoning verbal coding preparation is done entirely live in all four languages c c++ java python data structure algorithms is done in all four languages that is c c++ java python so this is a live coding and aptitude preparation and dbms course is also covered now we also cover 10 plus projects in different languages which can add to your resume so this are currently we are uh, this is under process basically so this particular projects are for students who have not done any kind of mini projects in their second or third year 
so you can do these projects and add some projects in your resume so that in the technical interview it will be helpful for you even once you can complete this particular semester exam which many students are facing right now you can complete these projects which will be short projects not a big project it will just help you to build your profile so those are also included technical and personal interview preparation is covered in this particular package along with mock interviews so mock interviews as we know this is the most important thing so we have covered those now once you cover this all this is all live now you will get a live training for 10 plus companies which is more than 300 plus hours and these 10 plus companies include tcs ninja tcs digital wipro we even conducted training for infitq for our master class students infosys on campus drives which will happen off campus drives accenture cognizant cognizant again offers three to four profiles like gen c gen c next gen c elevate we cover training for those as well Capgemini, L and T Infotech, DXC, Tech Mahindra. Any other company we add the preparation material gets included in live masterclass. Okay, mock tests are given for practice. Okay, so which will help you to understand whether you are able to solve the questions in time or not. And last but not the least, that is resume preparation. So this is a complete package. Most of the training is covered live, as you can check. Company specific training is covered live. Aptitude coding, everything is covered live. you get the recordings of this all live lectures uh, accessible for the next 2 years okay so imagine if you learn now if you want to refer to some coding concept or if you want to refer to some aptitude concept and maybe after 6 months you can access that next year off campus comes in again you can use this material to prepare so it is like a one time uh, investment you can say to just to make sure you become placement ready for most of the opportunities which are coming up okay so these are the contents uh now why uh, we recommend students to join master class not just to make business but we have seen we have got proven results from our previous batches uh, just to give you a rough idea the 2022 batch the students who were eligible more than 94% of the students have got placed they have got multiple offers why am i saying eligible because there are some students who have got less in 12 so they were not available for most of the opportunities but all the students who were eligible more than 94 to 95% of the students have got more than 2 to 3 offers now there is a question about which companies to join okay so a high placement rate secondly it is a structured course so once you join you get a detailed uh, study preparation plan so every day the classes go on between 6 pm to 8 pm okay 4 to 5 days a week if you miss any live class you can watch the recording at night so if you got any other uh, Uh, maybe task during 6 pm to 8 pm you, if you miss you will watch the recording on talent battle dashboard that recording is accessible for 2 years okay now we have got special doubt clearing groups telegram groups these are private groups not public groups so all the students who are our master class students are uh, in that particular group and the most important thing the uh, the teacher or the trainer who teaches you is also present in that group so any time you face any aptitude or coding doubt you can put in that group and you can get the answer okay so quality training content uh, so none of the students complain about the way of teaching all of you might be knowing chan sir uh, many of the students have attended our short workshops if you have attended our recent technical workshop you have also checked out how rohit sir teaches if you want to go to our youtube channel you can check lectures by chan sir pujita ma'am or rohit sir you will understand the way of teaching okay even if you are currently zero in aptitude or coding it does not matter we cover from basic to advanced right from scratch okay so uh, that's the reason we recommend students to join master class okay uh yes yeah, so this is the basically how the flow works first we prepare for aptitude then programming dsa dbms then some soft skills like personal interview essay writing and uh, group discussion and uh, grooming and body language then once companies start coming in we prepare for company specific like tcs infosys all the companies which i mentioned we uh, you face mock interviews from industry experts to make sure you before you face actual interview you will face mock interview the last step is nothing but iterate till success so iterate till success is nothing but unless and until you get placed you have to keep on preparing for the companies maybe tcs comes in you don't get placed start for preparation for capgemini so this happens throughout your final year till you get placed